Good evening, Sanker Entertainment today is here this evening with Mr. Jason Gardner. How are you this evening? I am wonderful. How are you? I am very good. So he is, he has a lot of hats, but tonight we're introducing him as the CEO of JG Management USVI. And we're just here to discuss his upcoming activities that he has for the month of April. So tell us a little about that. Yes, well, first off, thank you for coming and having me here. No problem. I, we're here to talk about the sixth annual VI Model of the Year competition, mm -hmm. along with the launch of Sencor Style Fashion Week. Okay. That's all starting next week, Wednesday, April 3rd, until uh, April 8th. So can, you, can we go into more details about it? Can you tell us a little, mo a little more about what that is? You know. Right. So, um, well, this started, uh, uh, it was always been a passion of mine to have uh, our own fashion week here in Iowa. Okay. I think this is something great for St. Croix and the USVI as a whole. Um, definitely uh, necessary in terms of um, just giving something different to St. Croix. Uh, a whole new audience. Um, we're known for our rich culture, yeah. heritage, um, history, food, art, music. So I think fashion is next to to make uh, uh, this into like a destination event. Yes. You know, um, VI Mall of the Year is going on, on to year six, and I was figuring out how would I do both events. And, um, and then I came up with, you know, combining it. And so that's how the, the whole idea came about, having both events at one. Okay. And um, so we have uh, the guests that starting to arrive from Wednesday. We have um, different Agencies, um, my co-producer Sandy Bass of Sandy Bass International, that's, um, she's from New York City, as well as um, Memsor Kamaraki, who's a celebrity um, stylist, as well as uh, Alva Page, international runway coach, who will be uh, one of the guest speakers for Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <coughs> you said VA Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. What what Sankor the Star. Sankor yes. Star. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What 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 can you tell us about that? Like what are the details mm -hmm. going into Sankor Fashion Week? VA Fashion Week. <laughs> <laughs> Sankor Star Fashion Week. Star, yes. And um, starting Thursday, we have the Welcome Style Mixer. Okay. And that is at Cloud9 Ultra Lounge, and that is by uh, invitation only. Okay. And it's just a way to uh, kick off the start of the week um, in a fun, relaxed, um, cool vibe environment. And then on Friday, April 5th, is the VI Model exclusive meet and greet red party. And that will be held at the Caribbean Museum Center for the Arts in Frederickstead. We have um, red carpet arrival, photo op, uh, interviews. We have lots of local entertainment. We'll be entertaining all the guests um, once they enter the courtyard. And we also have the VI model of the year models that are competing. They have their presentation. And we have a Caribbean buffet. And then we have the St. Croix style buyer's presentation. And that will feature um, six of the stores here on island, Sweet Magnolia, Envy Boutique, um, My Girlfriend's Closet, Jane's Bridal, Strictly the Best, and Urban Threads. Okay. We'll feature fashions for the designers, because the goal is for that, we're hoping that the designers will one day, you know, get their fashion sold here on, on island. So. It's all about you know economic growth and um, including everybody in this this great event. Yeah. And tickets for that is thirty dollars and thirty five at the door. And then on Saturday 
is the Ultimate Style and Beauty Expo that we're extremely excited about, and that is at Botanical Garden. And that is Saturday, uh, April 6th. We have, um, we have a pink carpet arrival and um, interviews. We have uh, about eight to 10 local vendors that will be selling their products. Okay. And um, as well as uh, three guest speakers, we have Janet Brin. She's the owner of Caribbean Posture Magazine. And um, Charlene Springer, here in St. Croix, will be speaking about women's empowerment. And then Albert Page, he's an international uh, runway coach. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Wow. You know, something new, different. Yeah. And um, we have, you know, door prizes. We have an um, amazing hair show um, coordinated by um, Andrea Christian. So we're very excited for that. We have uh, local entertainment, um, Francilia Benjamin and a few others. And uh, we have a dessert bar that day and the tickets are 35 and 40 at the door. Okay. So with the VI, mm -hmm. um, the VI model, model, model competition, yes. mm -hmm. we've seen a lot on Facebook mm -hmm. that, you know, there are different people, you gotta vote yes. for them. Mm -hmm. So basically that works like the more they get the shares that counts as a vote for them. Not, uh, not, in, not towards the competition, but we do have um, our social media star okay. in terms of um, in terms of different uh, Facebook, Instagram, their followers on Facebook, their followers on Instagram, pictures that we post, everything combined together. And, and that event we're extremely excited about, especially not having the competition last year due to the after effects of the storm. Yeah. And um, so we're coming back really strong this year. And that is on Sunday, which is the main day for the uh, uh, event. And um, it's the sixth annual VI Model of the Air competition, and which will be the first half of the show. And the second half is going to be the buyer um the designers collections so we have uh, designers here in st croix um, house of etienne as well as uh, african crawl and then from the bvi we have treffle designs um the islander swim as well as kamasia and then from new york we have uh, david johnson carlton jones and victor glamont so it's going to be, you're going to see some amazing fashion, not only from the first half, which we're so excited about. Our models, they are definitely bringing it for this competition. They really, really want this. And um, I'm excited to see who will be our 2019 VI Model of the Year. And, and the we're looking forward half, to it. <laughs> yes. And the second half, you know, is, is truly going to be amazing. Okay. That is cool. Like yes, and that that's and the tickets, the bleacher tickets are thirty and thirty five at the door, and the reserve is forty and forty five at the door, and then we have the VIP experience, yeah. which is a hundred dollars. Well, we're always looking for something different, something new, which it hasn't been new, but mm -hmm. it's been around for a while. Yes. but mm -hmm. different entertainment, mm -hmm. it's always good in the VIP, yes. and we appreciate you for you know always bringing different tastes and stuff yes. to the mix so yes definitely appreciate for that can you tell us how how the process goes mm -hmm. when it comes to doing all of this prepare preparation and stuff just a little sneak i yes. know you can't <laughs> give too much away <laughs> well you know we have been planning this since uh, last year when um, we were not able to have a competition April of last year. So from the beginning of 2018, we started planning for this, um, for this event. Uh, and it takes a lot, it's a lot of work, you know, but you have to have a great team and I have a great team that works with me. And, um, and that's how we're able to make it work. Yeah. You know, we're able to make it work and um, but you, you have to truly have a passion for it and, um, and truly want to, to, to do this, you know. Um, 
especially with the models, especially that's competing, the models that are competing, um, it takes a lot of um, time, dedication, preparation. Um, Sandy Bass, who is uh, my co-producer for the competition, um, I was speaking to her the other day and you know, the message that she told me to, you know, relate to the models. And uh, this year is all about uh, placement. Uh, the models who are ready for the industry, you know, that is what they're looking for, you know, when they make their selection. So these models the get to go away and right. experience yes. what it is exactly. that, oh, Definitely. Wow, that's so, awesome. Yeah, this is not just, you know, a competition and you hair for a year, <laughs> you know, just as, as the winner. Um, the prizes for the competition, the, all, all the winners, they get a trip to New York City. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Yes, and while we're there, you know, we visit different agencies in hopes of signing contracts, um, meeting new uh, industry people. We also do uh, model and talent workshops. Um, also, uh, photo shoots to build their portfolio. Uh, and of course, you know, we have lots of fun <laughs> while we're in New York yeah. as well. Who and won't then, have fun right. when we to New York? <laughs> <laughs> and then this year, we finally added, um, we're going to Paris as well. Oh, wow. The, yes, with the fashion winners, just the fashion winners. That's good. Um, so right after New York, yes, we're going straight to Paris for a week. Okay. Yeah. I hope you guys so have fun there. Year, thank you. So it's an amazing competition, you know, and I'm, you know, you guys out there, if you're interested for next year, definitely contact us and um, we do the auditions in November. Okay. So what was your inspiration behind of GG Management? Well, I, um, when I lived in New York, I started uh, my own agency up there after um, working with other companies. And then when I moved back home, uh, I saw the need for what I do in terms of the training, uh, the knowledge that I have, the exposure that I could give to the talent. And it was something that I said, you know what, um, I think, you know, this is where I need to be. The feeling was right and, um, and it started. You know, it started, and we, we focus on training, development, and placement for models, actors, singers, dancers, and um, and of course, you know, our major events that we do, you know, throughout the year. Yeah. But it's always been, um, this is always what I have done ever since a child. I've always been um, in this industry. Yeah. So do you have anyone in particular that inspires you? Oh my goodness, yes. Um, so many people. <laughs> so many people. Uh, first and foremost, you know, of course, Cindy, for uh, Cindy, Cindy Frontal, Ivo Frontal of Cindy's Models, because that's where I started. And you always have to, you know, remember where you start. Yes. And Cindy was great. Um, the lessons I learned from her and uh, the knowledge, it was just. You know, wonderful. It prepared you, prepared me for New York and the real world. And of course, you know, uh, pe people that I was always inspired by. Um, a guy that I work for in New York. His name was Edward Hawkins. I think by far one of the smartest people that I ever met in terms of how he ran his business, the potential that he saw in me and things that um, he allowed me to do with their company to grow and it was just truly wonderful and of course the the industry favorites you know like um, Naomi Campbell I always looked at her as an inspiration for the models that I work with yeah and um, the level that she she reached you know was just beyond amazing Okay. Yeah. So it's always difficult in the VI to step out of the box per mm -hmm. se and have something 
that the public doesn't generally, you know, mm -hmm. adapt to. Right. How do you mm -hmm. think the people of the VA adapted to JG management? I think for the most part, it has been great. I um, I have always been, you know, true to myself in terms of who I am, the work that I produce, um, along with my team, the level of respect the level of um, professionalism, um, you know, I'm an on-time <laughs> person, you know, and um, and just the, the 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 trust the factor. Yeah. That that is the one thing that I was extremely pleased and impressed about. A lot of the parents, you know would say um, they love what I do, the environment that I create, yeah. especially for kids, um, young girls, especially that, um, that how much they trust me with their child. Thank and um, so that is, was always a great feeling to, um, to hear and, and to know for a fact that they have someone that is not family that truly cares about them. Yeah. And their and their well-being. So, what do you think inspires your students to keep pushing to reach their goal as models, singers, mm -hmm. actors, right. and so on? I think because they they see the potential in what we do yeah. here, um, the level of training. You know, we we always we take it extremely serious, but we do have fun. You um, know, the way with it, yes. Yeah. And the travel opportunities, the, the people that they have met, okay. you know, um, they have met some really big names so far, wow. you know. So, yeah, they have really met some big names. So, I just think that overall, the, um, what we do here is something that um, they, they truly appreciate. Okay. Yeah. So, where do you see yourself in 10 years with this business? In 10 years, definitely um, known worldwide, of course, um, all over the Caribbean, um, U.S., overseas. Um, models uh, place with top agencies, um, working all over the world, uh, major campaigns. Yep. And, um, you know, I don't know if we give Godseed fit that we're here or if we, you know, have our own space. Yeah. Um, but just definitely to expand and, um, especially throughout the Caribbean, I really, we have a plan to explore the Caribbean more because there's a lot of great, great uh, models, um, new faces, especially yeah. throughout the Caribbean. That um, that don't necessarily have uh, exposure, you know. So that is something that we're hoping. Okay, that sounds yes. that sounds really good because it does have, you know, untapped potential in the Caribbean. Definitely, <laughs> and that was a big thing for me here too. Moving back, I just felt that the potential for the talent that we have here, and I look back and I think that. You know, if I didn't move back when I did, and all the things that we have done from 2011 to now, you know, I look back and say, wow, with, with, with all these you know, yeah. models and people that we work with get that experience and exposure, you know? Like if I wasn't here, who would do it? True. Sure. <laughs> yeah, so I look back and think, we definitely, are doing something right yes you are you definitely <laughs> are <laughs> how do you think your business contributes to the entertainment industry in the VA I think right now uh, people really identify us mostly with just modeling you know um, and that is something that we you know slowly but surely are trying to break yeah. because you know we're a full-service uh, management company. We're not a modeling agency, you know. 
um, you know, to in the real world, what we know as a modeling agency, you know, a model cannot survive as a, you can't survive as a model here in Ireland, oh. you know, because in the States, you know, that's all they can do yeah. because the work is so constant, you know, so I think uh, people have to, we have to make them realize too that, um, that we're not just modeling. And um, so that comes with um, rebranding our promotional uh, materials and just putting it out there and letting them know that you know we're full service and we do we do everything. Yeah. And um, and I think that would be a stepping stone in terms of um, broadening that to to tap in more to the entertainment side. Yeah. Yeah. So do you guys offer scholarship programs? We don't at the moment. We do have a nonprofit, but we are, it's on hold right now in terms of um, the next step, okay. in terms of becoming a 501c3 and so forth. Yeah, so that is something in the plans we're, we're working on rebranding. Okay. So when you get, you guys are already big, but when you guys get bigger, like, mm -hmm. Let's say, for instance, New York first Fashion Week. Everyone right. travels all over the world mm -hmm. for New York Fashion Week and Paris Fashion Week. Yeah. Do you hope to get to that level? Eventually? Oh, definitely, definitely. Oh, yes, definitely. Especially, uh, especially with the the young males. Yeah. You know, if I um, because this mindset here in Ireland that you know modeling is not for for males. It's just. It just blows my mind because in every other Caribbean island, the amount of people that hit me up, yeah, you know, it's like we would have about 20 guys competing if this was in another island. <laughs> True. <laughs> and I, I think they, um, I don't know, but you know, the, that whole mindset, um, but not realizing that how much a male model make, yeah. you know, or even a child, you know, you would take a, a, your son to a store to buy clothes mm -hmm. and look at the picture on the wall and say, oh, you know, I want my son in that. But you would not want your son to do the modeling to, to do a $500 that's or a 750 and job. And that's about the same thing. Right. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's just, a, you know, you're wearing the clothes. You either do a runway walk or a photo shoot and you get paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same yeah, thing. So I mean, it doesn't really have a difference. Not at all. You know, I just think that um, slowly but surely, yeah. you know, they'll get around. Yeah. So you think you can encourage more young males in St. Croix, St. Thomas, wherever you are, to be part of this program? I definitely believe so. I just have to find new ways to to make them see and understand the, the potential. Yeah. You know, we have put it out there in terms of what these, where these kids can go and the things that they can do, you know, but um, it, it's, we still have to get past, yeah. We still have to break it down. We still have work to do when it comes to that. Um, we do have more males uh, competing this year. Yeah, we noticed. The first time ever. <laughs> so how many males do you have in total competing? Uh, right now, we have four. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some of the males are fun favorites. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm not going to reveal their names, uh -huh. okay. but some of them are really fun favorites as we okay. see on social media. Yes. So, yeah. Definitely. We are looking forward to see the males as well. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a great show. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we are coming to near the okay. end of our interview. Mm -hmm. I would like to know if there is anyone you would like to thank or, yes. you know, mention. De right. Definitely, mm -hmm. uh, especially the sponsors uh, That's for that we have for Style Week. Definitely would love to thank the USBI. Department of Tourism, uh, Banco Popular, uh, Stacy Plaskett. Also, Cloud9 Ultra Lounge, uh, Law Office of Natalie Nelson Tanghow, uh, Emoja's Hair Boutique, 
Pampered VI, uh, Plaza Extra West, Food Town Supermarket, uh, Breathless Occasions, and. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, also, um, uh, Jamal Smith, uh, Slay King, and um, oh, Avis Rent a Car, and I think that's about it. I hope I didn't forget anyone. <laughs> hope no one's offended. <laughs> you forgot them. Yeah, I think I think that was everyone. Yeah. We would like to thank Remarriage Photography for covering this interview. Um, also, I'm doing a new segment named What's the Vibe in the VI? And the Vibe in the VI right now is Fashion Week, VI Fashion Week, and also the competition that's coming up for JG Management. So, you guys check it out. It's all over Facebook being advertised. You won't, you won't be disappointed. You guys got to check this out. It has male models. I mean, <laughs> Oh, yes. I did want to mention the ticket mm -hmm. outlets. Okay. Yes, so you can get your tickets uh, for all the events at Sweet Magnolia in Christianstead Urban Threads in Sunny Isles, and right here in Mount Pleasant at our studio, JG Management, as well as Jane's Bridal and Boutique. So get your tickets now. <laughs> thank you to everyone that's tuned in so far. And thank you to Mr. Jason Gardner for taking the time out to sit down with us for this interview. We will be back with more soon. And keep up with JG Management as they go forward with all the numerous talented, gifted individuals they have in this program. Thank you, guys. Thank you.